Hey guys, welcome back to a YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20 subscribers. You guys are the best. Uh, keep subscribing, keep liking, and please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to, and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you guys suggest. Uh, you can head to Funny and Jesse 2.0 on YouTube, subscribe and enjoy the con the vlogs that we put out there. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to Amit to that. Why would an Arab say that a Jewish woman is the greatest ever? Hmm. Very interesting. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Chapter 3, verse 42, it reads, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Wa is qalatil malaikatu ya Maryam. Says, Behold, the angel said, O Mary, Inna Allah astafaki wa taharaki wa astafaki ala nisail alameen. That God Almighty has chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Now, such an honor is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in the Christian Bible. That Mary, the mother of Jesus, she was a woman chosen above the women of all nations. Ya Maryam Uknuti, li rabbiki, wasjudi, warka imar raqeen. Says, O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly. Prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. So this is part of the tidings of the things unseen which we reveal unto thee, O Apostle, by inspiration. Where does Muhammad get his knowledge from? About Jesus? He was an illiterate man. A man who didn't know how to read or write. Where did his knowledge come from about what he's speaking? So God Almighty assures him and through him assuring us that this is the revelation of God given to him. His knowledge is from God. The Christian missionary, the evangelist, the preacher, he says, no, Muhammad concocted this book. Muhammad wrote the book. This is his own creation. We say, look, he was illiterate. An ummi. He said, yes, maybe. But you see, even illiterate people, they can be geniuses, man who has had no formal education, learning. He can be a genius. He can be a great orator. He can be a great thinker. So why could he not have dictated, you know, his own creation? He must have come across other, he had heard about other things, spoken about Jesus and the prophets, and from whatever he heard, he can rehash the whole thing in a far more beautiful language than what he has been hearing. Why could he not have dictated it? We Muslims have to agree that that is a possibility. He could have dictated it. But to prove to you that it was not so, I want you, the audience, to agree with me on just one point. I don't want you to accept him as the veritable messenger of God, the true prophet of God. No, no. This is asking too much. Uh, the only one little request I make from you is to admit that Muhammad was an Arab. That's all. Is there any difficulty? Anybody, please tell me if there's a difficulty in you accepting that Muhammad was an Arab. He was not an Indian. He was no Eskimo. He was no Greek or Roman. He was an Arab. Any difficulty? Any difficulty? I want to know from you all. No difficulty. That is all. Thank you very much. Now, this Arab, see, now we analyze this Arab, in the first instance, is telling other Arabs. If he wrote the book, if he uttered these words, then he's telling other Arabs. He wasn't talking to the Malaysians, Indonesians, Africans. No, he was talking to the other Arabs, his own people. And he's telling the other Arabs that Jesus, I'm sorry, Mary, the mother of Jesus, she was chosen above the women of all nations. Not his own wife, or mother, or daughter, whom we Muslims believe, Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet ﷺ, peace be upon him, will be the leader of the women of paradise. That's our belief. But her name is even not mentioned in the book. And he is going out of his way to tell his people that a Jewess, 
she was chosen above the women of all nations. I'm asking, please account for that. Why would an Arab go out of his way to provoke his own people and go and honor a woman of his mother of his opposition, if there was such a thing? Telling them that not my wife, not my daughter, not my mother, but Mary, the mother of Jesus. I say account for that. If he wrote the book, why would he do such a silly thing? From the worldly point of view, it's silly. Because to me, and to you, to me, my mother, there's no better woman in the world has ever been than my mother, or my wife, or my daughter. Why yours? Why Jimmy Swaggart's? You know, my opponent in a debate on Monday night. Why his? Unless I am forced, I am commanded by a higher source to say that Jimmy Swaggart's mother or his wife Frances is the best woman in the world. In the sight of God, she is the immaculate one. Who would make me to say that? Only God can force me to say that. On my own, never. My mother, my wife, my daughter. You agree? This man is honoring Mary, the mother of Jesus. وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَاكِ وَطَهَّرَكِ وَاصْطَفَاكِ عَلَى نِسَاءِ الْعَالَمِينَ يَا مَرْيَمُ قُنُتِي لِرَبِّكِ وَاسْجُدِي وَارْكَعِي مَعَ الرَّاكِعِينَ an interesting video um, why would an Arab say that a Jewish woman is the greatest ever um, does nationality actually matter when it comes to these situations because I always say once we start grouping ourselves dividing ourselves africans arabs jews this that whatever it is we create this atmosphere of anim uh, not just animosity but competition because someone is going to ask say what was so special about mary that she has to be the greatest and that's why i feel like with different religions they're always bringing up their own people and say no this was the greatest person or this was the greatest person in history or whatever the case is or maybe this was the most favored person by god to me it really doesn't matter if she was zambian she was a jew she was christian she was a muslim it really wouldn't matter to me if someone is great in the world then they're great if someone is held high for some reason you have to acknowledge why they're being held high for whatsoever reasons that may be you just have to especially if you're a believer of god you don't want to be asking yourself such questions you just want to appreciate um what god wants we really can't question as to why it wasn't a zambian person why it wasn't a person from botswana or angola or whatever area of the world it is you know there's some things that um we can speak to God about that. There are some things that actually make sense in this world and some that don't make sense and we've actually learned to live with them because the answers are always just absurd. But um, just don't confuse yourself by sometimes asking... What I'm trying to say, just don't confuse yourself by asking certain questions. Because then who's going to answer this? If you talk to a human being, they'll answer you according to what they believe in. And you can't ask God this because you won't even get a response. Do you understand? So where do you go from there? Otherwise, let me know what you guys think about this video and the point I mean, that was trying to bring up. And yeah, what are your thoughts in general? If there's something you want me to react to, drop the link or the name down below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.